Good morning, everybody. We are in Jakarta, Indonesia, and I'm officially going to one of the largest mosques. It is the largest mosque in Southeast Asia, number six in the world. It's called Istiqlal Mosque. I hope I said that right, um, but I am super excited to see this mosque. It's, it's one of the largest mosques in Southeast Asia, and the craziest thing is, it's surrounded by marble, almost 18,000 pieces and 9,000 stakes on the ground. Um, I'm right across the street. I'm gonna just cross the street because this light isn't working and there's cars coming left and right, but I'm over here and it's surrounded. So I can't wait to show you guys this mosque. I'm trying to get over here, but super beautiful, super excited to see this mosque. I think you have to go here. I can't go here. So which way do I go to the mosque? Oh, I gotta go here. I got a little lost, I was at the bus stop, but here we go. We are almost there. And I don't, I don't see it crowded, so I'm super excited. Um, I believe when you're Muslim, you can go inside for free. Um, a lot of people do have to pay if they want to record um, inside, but there's a special area where you can record um, without being disrespectful. So we're gonna get in here and check it out. Check this out, guys. Wow. I am so excited to see this. And I think that is, oh wow, that's, that, I think that's a church. But wow, look at this mosque. Super, super huge. This place is magnificent. It's surrounded by trees. It's so peaceful for a mosque. I mean, look at this, beautiful. I just gotta find out how I get around this mosque. And once I get there, I'll definitely see um, if they're gonna charge me to get inside, I don't know if they actually charge to get inside this mosque, but um, I know in the inside when you wanna record, I wanna make sure what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not, um, especially in Indonesia. But everybody's been super nice and they've been helping me out. And I am, oh wow. And there's markets outside this mosque. Gentleman's laying down, falling asleep, but super beautiful super excited to check out this mosque so i'll see you guys soon i'm gonna go ahead and get inside this mosque and i'll show you exactly what you guys uh, are missing out on so here's the mosque super beautiful and uh i don't know if i can get inside how do i how do i get inside the mosque the the, the gates are closed they have cameras i i hope it's open because that would really break my heart if it's not i've never I've always wanted to go. How do you get inside? I see people over there, so maybe I have to walk around and see which way I have to go. Let me check it out. I have to see. How do I get inside? Let me ask this gentleman right here. Excuse me, sir. Is this closed? What? Is it? How do I go? Oh, over there? Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. So I guess it's open. I'm going the wrong way, but. Here's the funny part. It says, it says to the mosque entrance over here, but I guess I was wrong. So let's go right around the corner and hopefully um, I can finally get inside. Here we are, gen ladies and gentlemen, we finally made it. Wow, so beautiful. And I am so excited to see what, I don't think I have to leave anything like my shoes or anything, do I? I have my backpack, so we'll see um, how What's the rules? How you doing, sir? Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Quick question. How much, how much can I record? How much can I record? Okay. You must have the office in the room. Okay, so it's information about security, yeah? The information is that way? Security. Okay. It's your information, mosque and address. Okay, so through that, through that door? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. So we go over there. So I have to see how much. I can actually record just to be respectful. So I'm gonna go to the security and ask them and we'll see what they say um, because there are a lot of women as well. So we finally got inside. You have to go through registration, but they're doing a wedding right there. Here's the outdoor area. You see it's made out of all this marble, uh, but wow, it's so beautiful. And we're following a tour guide. So he's gonna show us around and uh, and after that, I have to do namaz, so I have about 40 minutes. So I can't wait to see what they're gonna show us next. This is the mosque, this building named Masjid Istiqlal. Istiqlal, language Arabic, the mean independent. Yeah, why this building named Independent Mosque? Before, 
It's so beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. And you have the chairs there. Mashallah. Yeah. So, uh, it basically means independent mosque. Uh, I don't want to speak too loud. But it's so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Wow. Like a truck. So beautiful. Wow. 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 So it's pointed exactly towards Mecca, so this is the way for prayer, for namaz. Wow. They, they have uh, all fans everywhere and extra fans. And there's one, two, three, four, four, four floors. Peace be upon you. So beautiful. And then this is like their little courtyard. But here's the cool part. You can have dinner outside the mosque. You can have dinner outside, which is incredible. So they just eat right there. So beautiful. And now we're going downstairs to the first floor. Hopefully we can take a beautiful picture. Um, but I'm so excited to go downstairs and see. And here is the prayer area at the mosque. So beautiful. And then that's where you could pray. And of course you have to be covered up so a lot of people were offered like something to cover themselves up um because the men were wearing shorts but it feels so good to be in here so going through here wow okay this way look at this sir uh siapa namamu my name is Didi. Didi? Didi. Okay. Didi. Okay. Uh, for all, wow. uh, you know, this so is the beautiful. Minaret Tower. Tower to symbolize call to pray for five times a day. You know, so like, that's the tower for a call for prayer. So the speakers are up there and that's where everyone can hear all the prayer. So beautiful. This is the most only have one minaret. Wow. Normally at 80 Turkey, Saudi Arabia, so nice. And it's kind of amazing because of the fact that like no one's wearing shoes, so we're walking bare feet, and all the uh, women are studying the Quran and uh, the Quran, and, and they're uh, they're all just talking, and it's so awesome to see like they're just practicing and studying the Quran, and it makes you so um, blessed, you know. Um, to be in this mosque and just being Muslim is such a beautiful thing and practicing is very key and I'm getting better as a Muslim myself after I started doing this journey so look how beautiful and detailed this whole area is it's so beautiful just listen to that the drum right here this is the cow skin That is the most, that's the most beautiful voice, mashallah. And then they play this because no, yeah, before, this before. Is time for prayer. No gotcha. Pray. So this was time for prayer at yeah. the time. Yes. Only in Indonesia, many country Muslim in the world don't have drum at most. So this was the call 
This is basically how they played for prayer, and it's made out of uh, cow skin. Um, and they played the drums. It was made out of cow skin, right? Cow skin. Wow. That is amazing. And you guys hear the prayer. Wow, it gives me goosebumps. So I just did prayer. As you can see how beautiful it is over here. It's so beautiful. And I don't want to work forward because everybody's still praying, but I did, I just finished prayer. And it was so beautiful. And the voice was amazing. Look at the architecture. All this. By far one of the most beautiful mosques that I've ever been to. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. Yang akan menyampaikan tema atau kajian khusus tentang kitab Al-Fiqh Al-Mazahib Al-Arba'ah Karena Syekh Muhammad Al-Jaziri Dan kali ini beliau akan mengupas bahasan tentang bab jual beli Hadirin Thank you very much, Mohamed Salah. I love Mohamed Salah. I love Mohamed Salah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Such nice people in it's such a beautiful, beautiful country, and everybody's so humble and so nice. Now we're off to the next and finally getting some food. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful mosque and just saw the culture, and it felt so good to get prayer done over here. And it was such a beautiful feeling. It was so busy with so many Muslims and it makes you feel so alive and so close to your teen. So I'm so happy to have gone here and experienced this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I love y'all. Just remember to always live your dreams to the fullest because tomorrow is never promised. And inshallah, Ali, over and out. My journey has just begun.